hello welcome back to my channel if you're new here uh subscribe i have a lot more videos coming also i have other hair videos um other types of videos too if you're interested just take a look at the other videos that i have um so everyone out there that's already subscribed and they're actually following my hair journey this is another video to help in my hair journey and i came across it while i was trying to figure out my hair type um because it's like kind of complicated so it's really complicated figuring out your hair type so i found i came across um an article and I put it in, down in the description it intrigued me to learn more about my actual hair porosity and um the different porosities that there are i guess i should tell you what hair porosity is what i came across i don't Hair porosity is how porous your hair is, how well it's able to absorb uh, water and hold on to it. So low porosity is basically doesn't really absorb water. And when it does, it takes forever to actually release it because the cuticles are kind of closed. So it's harder to get things in and out. Um, and then the next one is medium. It's also referred to as normal which is like the ideal hair porosity that we want high is the opposite of low uh the cuticles are actually almost open they're like raised and water is able to get in freely and get out freely so your hair dries out a lot faster um which is actually going to roll into my first test that i'm doing for my hair porosity so it, I just shampoo my hair. I use like head and shoulders to help remove as much of the product out of my hair, then uh, oils out of my hair. There's still some natural oils in my hair. I didn't towel dry it. I just air dried it. I literally took the towel and sat it on my shoulders. I didn't even really touch my hair, so I just let it drip. This is dry. Y'all, it's no conditioner here. I forgot to tell you that. I did not put any conditioner in. All I did was shampoo it. And this stuff is dry. Well, the first test is already done. See how long it takes my hair to dry. So about 10 minutes. I actually took the quiz by Shea Moisture to figure out what my actual hair porosity is. And I kind of know what it is, but I'm also going to do a few tests today, a few demonstrations to actually confirm um, what I figured out using the Shea Moisture quiz and actually reading about it on the um, website. So if you guys think you know what my hair porosity is, put it down in the comments. Um, you can use this video for help and also my other videos that I have to um, help you determine what you think it is. Also, I picked up a new product uh, specific for my hair porosity type. So watch the end of the video to actually figure out what I think my hair porosity is and actual product, a new product that I'm going to try and i will show you how it works the next test is going to be the oh, strand okay. test Wash my hands. so i'm going to grab a strand of hair from the middle of my head i'm going to take my hand hold one in and then rub my hand up my strand and if i feel like raised then it's probably a raised cuticle that was another test the strand test um, my cuticle is bumpy it does feel raised it's not smooth test number two test is i'm going to be using a shea moisture curl enhancing smoothie now this um the second test basically is called a product test i'm going to put some product in my hair on a dry section and see how long it actually takes to uh absorb or if it even absorbs into my hair so that'll also be a test to help determine my porosity I don't have any more cream because it's all in the floor. All of it. There's the product test. Test number three. Test number three, I'm gonna be using a spray bottle. 
So basically, I'm just gonna spray my hair, a section of my hair. I have different types of hair in different sections of my hair. So basically, I'm just gonna spray a section of my hair and see if there's like any beads like sitting on top of my hair or if that water actually absorbs into my hair. There you go. We had the product side and then just plain water side. This is that number three. Number four is the actual float test. I haven't done it yet, so we'll be experiencing it the first time together. I'm going to wash my hands again. I'm gonna just pluck a piece out of here. All right, dang, I got the root. All right, so there's the strand. Did it, I mean, did it, what do y'all think? Put my eye up to it. I'll for you. Did the float test. It hasn't even been in there for a long time. Maybe 10 minutes. Okay, so that's um, hair porosity. And that's that I did to help. Um, I can't hear because my ears are covered up. Test that I did to help me determine what my hair porosity is. And... I went through a little bit about each one of them, what hair porosity is, and then what the three types are. So um, I also go over why it's important to know your hair porosity and why it's important for me to know mine too. Uh, a few questions that you want to keep in mind when you're trying to figure out what your hair porosity is. You want to think about how well does it take your hair to absorb water? Also products, how long does it take your hair to absorb products as well? Um, does your hair get build up pretty easily um, in your hair? Once you get the product in, does it just like get gunky? Do you get a lot of product build up? This one don't really pertain to me, but like, do you color treat your hair or is it relaxed? Um, a lot of people are natural now but there are still some people that get their hair relaxed. So you want to keep that in mind too when you're trying to um, determine your porosity because that can also change your hair porosity. Um, do you have to clarify or shampoo your hair more frequently than others? Also, does it take your hair forever to dry? That's also going to help you determine your hair porosity. So why is it important to know your hair porosity or for me or you to know your hair porosity, it'll help you choose which products to <clears throat> buy. Like before I was just in a store, just buying, not anything, but just trying products. And I had no clue what I was really buying. I was just reading it, seeing what was natural and then buying it and trying it. So now I have a better idea what I should actually buy. I'm not saying that I won't be still in a store just buying stuff and trying stuff. I have a better idea what to choose now. I'll look at natural products and for my actual hair porosity. And then hopefully my hair tight once I figure out what that is too. Also, for hair porosity and washing your hair, conditioning your hair, or like getting treatments, you also want to know if, what your hair porosity is because if you have low porosity, you might want to add heat to your regimen to help um, your hair absorb more of the product or actual moisture. Uh, if you have high porosity, when you finish um, washing your hair, you want to rinse it with cold water because um, cold water is supposed to help close the actual cuticle. And I guess warm water helps open the cuticle. You remember back in the day, everybody was doing like hot oil treatments with Kimmy oil and all that. Another reason we should know our hair porosity is it's going to determine what types of oils work best in our hair or what type of oil that we actually need to use because there's oils that moisturize, there's oils that seal, and there's oils that kind of do a little bit of both. So if you have um, high porosity hair, you're gonna have to try and find something to help seal your cuticle and keep the moisture in. Um, so when I actually did all the tests, and I did the reading for the Shea Moisture Quiz to figure out what my porosity in my hair is, and the test that I just did, I figured out that my hair porosity is what? <laughs> I hope y'all said hi because that's what I came up with if you did say hi let me know why you think in the comments section 
But yeah, I picked high. I know that all of my hair in my head is not high porosity. I probably have different all throughout, but for the majority, the most for the most part of my hair is high porosity, uh, just because of how it reacts when it's all together. And that's what matters, because that's what I have trouble with, wearing my hair all together out when it's just chilling. Like So well, after I did the Shea Moisture quiz and I figured out what my porosity of my hair might be, that it might be high porosity, I was excited. So I was like, let me go out and see if I can find a product or whatever to help um, seal my ends. So I went to Target, I seen a couple choices, but they were out of one that I really wanted to try. I had came across the main choice, um, Hair Caroline. I think I tried the gel by them before and I really liked it, but it, it kind of left a little residue in my hair. But So I, I don't really use that one anymore. I had different gels that I used, but I ended up on Amazon. I ordered, I ordered um, sealing cream by the main choice. So when the product, when it finally came in the mail, I was all super excited. I was like, yeah, I'm going to be able to wear my hair out or whatever. So I'm going to do my hair after this with the product, the sealing cream, to see how it works. So after this video, I'm going to do it and I'll post it. So stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed so that you can see how this sealing cream actually worked in my high porosity hair. So there it is. Hair porosity. My hair porosity some i did the test to show you my hair porosity also some reasons why you why me and you should know your hair porosity and also some things to keep in mind when you're deciding what your hair porosity is and i sh uh, share with you my, what my hair porosity is hopefully you guys share with me your thoughts before i revealed what my hair porosity is i hope y'all really did comment underneath and let me know what my what you think my hair porosity is because i really want to know so everyone that's on my hair journey with me i appreciate you give me some tips if you have them some positive feedback um some constructive criticism don't be rude just you know ride with me but yeah, if you're new here to my channel consider subscribing because there's other content coming and there's other videos on my channel as well. So check them out. All right, subscribe. Did you hit the button? I'm waiting for you to hit the button. Comment something positive, like the video, subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you can watch my videos when I post them. And yeah, cause I'm cool. <laughs> no, I mean. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. And watch, make sure you tune into the next video so that you can see how this product works out. Cherokee Quest. I'm going to let y'all go. Remember to love yourself and love anyways. Do that for me, y'all.